How you all doing? Welcome to the update on my landfill bike. My Everest. Will I ever conquer? Yes, I want redemption. Well, I have actually been doing quite a bit of work on it. Which you will see in a week or two. And hopefully I'm going to get it on the road through the MOT. See what it rides like. But I must admit, every time I go in this shed and touch the uh, landfill bike, I do get anxieties. Butterflies in the tummy. Hate in my heart. Yes, if you are familiar with the landfill bike, you will uh, probably understand my anxieties and my love hate relationship with this bike. We can't call it a bike yet because it's not on the road. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. No, it says 50, not 70, Johnny. All right. Yes, I think it's finally time I get redemption on this bike and uh, get it done and dusted. Not this bike, the landfill bike. Under 1000 CBF. Under 1000 CBF. <laughs> see, I ate, you see, I ate the bike that much, I don't even know what it's called. So anyway, here's some mystery of my landfill bike, Honda CBR 1000F, 1988. I acquired this bike on the 29th of the 10th, 2017. And I'm now the 11th owner, or the 11th keeper of this motorcycle. Uh, the guy before me bought this motorcycle on the 21st of the 4th, 2014. And I have checked up the MOT history on this bike, and the bike was last MOT'd on the 7th of June, 2007. The mileage on the last MOT in 2007 was 55,445 miles and the mileage on the bike now is 56,476 miles so the bike didn't actually do very many miles after the MOT so yes it's been off the road for quite a few years but it's not surprising really because when I got it I had a spear engine with it but the cylinder head was knackered and it turns out the engine that was in the bike the cylinder head was knackered on that as well and yes I was hoping it was just the head gasket but no it was corrosion in the waterways so the coolant was leaking into the oil past the head gasket and that was the same on both engines but after hunting and searching and scrolling through the internet I eventually found a good cylinder head and replaced it. Oh, what a nightmare all that was. Yes, we've been stripping the uh, cooling system down. Uh, I know there's no thermostat in this bike, so I've managed to source one. Uh, and plus there's a coolant leak somewhere on the bike, which I can't find. So I want to try and find out where that is. And yes, you've guessed it. It turned out to be a lot harder to sort out the cooling system that I had anticipated. And then I had fun in games with the front brake because the front brake had lost pressure. So I've been working a few hours on that and just getting nowhere. Anyway, I won't say too much because you'll see it all in next week's video. And also I've got a nice new shiny battery for the bike. So we could be fitting that in. I could be testing all the lights, make sure they're still working properly. And hopefully there's no rattle in the engine. Yes, we can go 60. Let's see what the uh, condition of this road is like. 
as as UK people all know, the weather has been absolutely terrible for I don't know how long. Since last October, I think. Let's twist that roll. Some new gloves but I'm not sure if I uh, like them. My wedding ring is digging into my hand and the crutch lever feels further away than ever. I can only just reach it with my fingertips. So there you go, just a quick ride and a quick update on my redemption on the Honda CBR1000F landfill bike. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you didn't, why are you still here? Are you nuts? I see you in another light, brother. Oh, I'm on a road to nowhere.